What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Dad Needs to Talk. I'm your host, Robert, and today, today, I'm sneaking in one last little treat to end off spooky season with one of my favorite newer series, Die Dark. Now, Die Dark is a sci-fi horror comedy series from the author Q Hashida uh, Hayashida Q Hayashida who a lot of y'all also might know as the creator behind Doro Hidoro so and, and, and honestly e- even if you didn't know that offhand like as soon as you see like some of the art and stuff it is like very apparent that it's like okay this this definitely gives me some uh doro hidoro vibes um but yeah so i'm not gonna hold y'all too long um and also this series is published by seven seas um because th- this is just gonna be more of like a quick recommendation thing because i have talked about die dark um literally a year ago when i read the first two volumes and I decided to hold off because I saw like the release calendar for the volumes and they're only doing maybe like two volumes a year. So three and four came out this year, 2022, and then volume five isn't coming out to March of next year. So I'm like, you know what? I can just wait <laughs> and read. And so, so yeah, and so that that's what I did. I ended up rereading volumes one and two again um, before diving into three and four, but so I know you're asking, okay, Robert, you're you're smiling, you're happy about this stuff, but what is Die Dark? So Die Dark follows our main character Zaha Sanko, who we we still don't really know why, but legend tells it that if you are able to acquire his bones then you will get any wish that you want granted now like i said don't really know why or what his real origin and stuff is but that's a pretty interesting setup and like i showed kind of kind of like four main characters of the series that the series of follows is Sanko himself, his uh, Paggy, uh, I, th- I think it's a, a Vakian, it might be remembering that name right. Uh, my favorite character, uh, Shamita, um, who, who is also a uh, spoiler alert, best girl. Because <laughs> uh, but beneath this, uh, terrorizing looking uh menacing cloak is a very very hot uh death lady <laughs> and then the fourth guy De- I, th- I think his name is like Demi Maru and so e- each of these people have some very crazy stuff going on so Demi Maru he's more or less seemingly immortal because he's getting like body split in half all this stuff and he keeps coming back and he keeps adapting to different environments that he's in um like i said shimada is literally death um and she just loves going around just like feasting on souls and stuff and then sanko he's just trying to live his best life he he, he loves him a good uh meatball sandwich or or a meat witch <laughs> as he likes to call it and stuff so but uh but yeah but overall like this series it truly is funny it truly is horror because some of the scenes that they depict because one of the things i really love, love about this series is just like the look and style of like their gear and their weapons and stuff and so like this cloak thing that Sanko is wearing um, is basically just like just like this like cloth that he wears, but when he activates it, it basically creates like this like set of armor 
that surrounds him or whatever. Um, and, and a lot of our main cast, a lot of their abilities and stuff are kind of like centered around darkness and darkness themed and stuff. Cause it's kind of like a, uh, like a central hub for the series that the characters kind of go to very often, uh, especially when they need to like shop and upgrade and stuff, whatever. It's literally a place called dark nest. Um, but yeah, but just, just the way all this stuff looks or whatever. Cause like Sanko, he goes around collecting bones and stuff. And so his weapon is basically this bone that turns into this like dark X. And so, I just love the whole look of it because like when he summons it, he literally says, come dark flesh. And you see that this like darkness just like surround uh, the bone or whatever. And then turns into like this cool ax that he has. And <laughs> when he embeds the ax into somebody's flesh, like the first time it happens, it is just like, sick and in all the best ways to where you just see like the skin is to just like slowly melting off of these people's faces and stuff whatever um uh, but yeah but it, it, it is just just like a really fun read and like i said like there's just that interest and that intrigue of like who are all these characters what are their backstories how do they get here and what is really going on with sanko's body and stuff because Throughout the volumes, we also get flashback moments to uh, of him when he was a little kid, when he was a uh, six. No, I think six or eight. I think eight, because um, he's currently fourteen right now. But uh, but yeah, but but the series is like really dope. Like I said, like the art and stuff in general. All of the uh, different chapters have like really cool cover art. Um, this is one from uh, chapter twenty three in volume four that I just I just really loved this whole color spread right here of just like all the different characters and stuff so but uh but yeah it it is, it is just overall if you want first of all if you're a fan of Doro Hidoro that's already reason one but two like I said if if you just want to see just some fun characters some interesting characters going on a on a uh, intergalactic uh, adventure through space uh, where they get into all types of uh, crazy shenanigans and stuff then Die Dark is one that I like super highly recommend um, this is one that I hope that someday also gets the anime treatment as well um, and this also kind of makes me want to go back because I honestly I never actually finished the Doro Hidoro anime so I think I might do that um, as well as I also um, want to just fully read the manga because the manga for Dora Hidoro is fully done, um, though. I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a decent length from uh, from what I remember about it. But um, but yeah, but but me going back uh, and diving into this series. Hold on. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I double check. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dora Hedora was 23 volumes, 191 chapters total. So, a pretty lengthy series. Um, it actually it went, it, it ran for 18 years because <laughs> it started December 2000 and it just ended in September 2018. So, and then the Arthur Q uh Hayashida she turned around and then made that started Die Dark a year later in 2019 and then going on to current like i said it's currently uh four volumes out in english with the fifth one coming out early next year but um just, just a couple other just like really cool things i just like panels and stuff i just want to show off this is a uh, our mc when he was a kid looking really dope um like i said i, I just love the, the style and stuff and whatever and then uh uh this is kind of kind of like the main merchant of the series her name is a uh, mezzatani uh and like inside the skull is basically this kind of like storage unit where she has all this like cool gear and stuff uh, for you to check out. But um, but yeah, but she's a cool character. And like I said, uh, uh, Avakian. Oh, no, 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 no,
is also a very dope character. So, but, um, but yeah, this series has some really dope uh, women, which I know a lot of people are also a fan of a lot of a lot of the uh, the uh, female characters in Dora Hidoro. Um, and, and a lot of them have similar facial features and stuff, whatever. So like you can do, like I said, once again, definitely tell the similar art styles and stuff of this to Dora Hidoro. But, um, but yeah, but th this, this is a super, super cool, super fun series. Um, the only part that I wasn't too hot on at first was like at the beginning of volume four, you kind of start getting introduced kind of, I guess, kind of like, like a main antagonist organization of sorts that you, you've heard their name and organization come up throughout the series so far, but you actually get to see like the leader and stuff of, uh, of the organization and stuff um but yeah but but you know and, and last little thing i wanted to say to say too whatever is like these volumes first of all like i said like like the quality of them are just really nice um they, they just it's just nice to feel the page quality is also nice and you know it, it, it just feels like a quality purchase um but the author also kind of does like some cool stuff to where like in between or like at the start of every chapter, it kind of like or every volume kind of gives you a breakdown. Like, hey, here's the cast of characters, get a little rundown on them story so far. And one of my favorite touches that I fell in love with with the first volume is that at the at the end of every volume, there is a crossword puzzle um, with different things from. The volume that you just read so i still haven't gone through and done all these or whatever but this is still something like really cool i think to kind of like a uh, look out for um or like i said just just like some extra flavoring and fan service um just 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 extra care put into the into the uh the volumes and stuff but um uh, but yeah the, the 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 characters are like i said just super dope super cool i love all of the kind of like uh uh, art in between the different chapters where like the author she'll kind of show off like hey here is like an early design of this character or hey here is what this character looks like in full armor or no armor or whatever and so but yeah like I said I, I can just tell that this series is just made with a lot of love uh, and I loved <laughs> this panel was just so good so funny just seeing the characters when they were kids and stuff so but uh but yeah, and uh, and uh, what's his name? The uh, Demi Maru character. Honestly, uh, he kind of reminds me of like a Kenny from South Park to where it's like every so often it's like, oh my God, they killed Demi Maru. And I was just waiting for another character to be like, you bastard or something crazy. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, but th th this, like I said, super dope. I'm, I'm sound like a broken record. But like I said, I just hope that, uh, you know, somebody else out there gives this, gives this series a try. Like I said, I had to finish off spooky season, spooky month with die dark. Um, ever since I read, started reading it last year, whatever. And it, it is still where to believe that it's been a full year. So coming full circle, we back with four volumes of this dub series, but with that, I am done. As always, thank you so much for watching and or listening. Let me know, you know, if you've checked out Dow Dark or if you're interested in checking it out. Um, Cause like I say, I think it's a really cool series. Um, but yeah, thank you much, so much for your time. As always, if you're watching the video, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Or if you're listening to the audio only version, make sure you subscribe to the podcast feed. And with that, as I always say, treat yourself to something nice, read some manga, watch some anime, play some video games, and live your best life. And with that, I'm out. Y'all have an awesome day and or week, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.